In the year 2027, the world's governments are on the brink of collapse. A savior from the Far East emerges to create one currency known as credits, ending the threat and creating prosperity. To achieve credits, people took the mark of a microchip implanted inside their hand. The world's governments had switched to cashless economies, conducting business completely with digital cash transfers. All physical money was banned and forbidden. In 2034, a computer glitch crashed the system and billions of people found themselves penniless. The resulting panic led to widespread rioting, looting, arson, murder, and war. Over the next seven years, billions turned to a few thousand as savagery and desperation took over. The remaining few formed alliances in the dilapidated world, surviving, watching, and waiting for the second coming. I am Tessa, a wastelander. How far are we? I'd say two or three more miles and there should be a creek in the riverbed. That's what it's like that. Tess, are you sure about this? Purgatory? It's not exactly the safest place. I already told you I need to do this. I can't be putting everyone in danger because of my own needs. The Reverend! No! Right now, it doesn't matter what he thinks. There's gotta be some way we can fix this. That's the point, Ollie, there isn't. No matter where I go, there's always going to be people looking for me. And when they do find me, I can't have someone I care about near. What's so important about the marks anyways? All credits were removed after the collapse, even from scabs like us. I have the last chip in existence. Whoever controls it, controls the world. And you're gonna hitch a ride from some smuggler? Is that the solution? Sam said that Roach... And Roach? You're gonna take advice from Roach, some sleazy scumbag that crosses deals for a living? Look, I may not take Roach's word, but I trust Sam. I still don't think... Hey, break's right up here. We're close. Look, I'll be fine. Besides, the Reverend needs a good soldier to protect the Alliance when I'm gone. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> That'll do you no good, little girl. You two would kill the only source of meat that we have to trade? We don't trade, we take. We don't need her, Victor. Kill her, and let's take purgatory. And what of this, Victor? Shall we let him walk? So when I started this little group, I had very little rule, okay? We raped. We pillage, we steal shit, and then we take that shit and we distribute it amongst everybody, right? But the one thing that you don't do is drink all the water. And you take it amongst yourself to drink all the water. Rules are simple, right? Is he on his feet yet? Yeah. Good. Okay, now, can we please go to Purgatory, where I have some business with Roach, and for his sake, he better make me a good deal. Come on! People! People, please! What is going on right now? We need to know! For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise. 
Easy, good friend. Let him speak. Then, we who are alive and remain shall be caught together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord. And thus, we shall be with the Lord. Comfort each other with these words. What can I do for you? You are the bright light that now shines in this world. Take me, take my hand, so that I may be forgiven. So that I may walk among the clouds and bask in this newfound glory that you promise. For I see what you really are. And now, see me. Why do we take these vagrants? How many times of your life must be taken? And we will continue to take any and all. That's who we are. That's what we do. Reverend, the girl, uh, Tessa and the boy, they're, they're gone. Gone where? Purgatory, sir. The children heard the girl speaking of protecting an alliance, bearing a burden. Should I gather the men? No. You and the men stay with the flock. Seven, grab your gear. Is it normally this quiet? Isn't this place a thriving black market? Sometimes, but other than that, it's just a quiet fly out. Let's get this over with. Where do we go? Well, Roach is inside and he's waiting for you. Hope you're right about this. Me too. Sam? Tess. This isn't right. Let's get out of here. What is it? Sam? I'm sorry, Tessa, but I can't live off promises that your reverend can't keep. Our deal. Give me my payment and I'll be on my way. And my chip? It's on her! Sam, no! Oh, forgive me. Your payment, of course. Sam, you really think they're just gonna let you walk out of here? Boom. We had a deal! We had a deal! I'm sorry. How rude. Your contact's right there. Now, tie him up. Girl, I'm gonna need you to give me that chip. I'd rather see you die! You'll never get the chip. Then I'll find it on your dead corpse, and nobody will ever find you. I'm gonna gut you like a fish. Now, Boone, you're scaring the girl. See, I can only control him for so long. Hello, Roach. Victor! What have you brought me, old friend? I want at least two months' rations for this one, and you better not try to fuck me! Who's that girl? She's not for sale. Everything's for sale. Victor, come on, she's mine. She belongs to me. You're lucky I let you live! Boone! Yeah, Boone, skim that knife. Probably the Reverend. I'm here to get the girl. <laughs> Thank God. Don't worry, fat man. I'm not done with you yet. Girl, give me your chip and you can walk out of here. I'd rather see you take your last breath. Why do you protect this scare girl? Because I'm the protector of all God's children. So it'll be written upon your death. Ollie, I think I can get my hand out. Help me. I can try. Let's get 
it out. Don't need them. Not so lucky. <laughs> guess it's you and me again, just like the old days. So, how about we go? It's fate. Look right through me. 